Hello everybody, my name is Shashank Shekhar, Mathematics Master Teacher at Vedantu. We are presenting solutions for J Advanced 2019 Paper 2. In this video, a question from the section Matrix Match, match is taken. Uh, there are two questions associated with it, so we will discuss both of them in this video one by one. There are two lists, list 1, list 2. List 1 consists of few entries, list 2, list 2 consists of few entries. List 1, the entries of list 1 are defined in the above paragraph. Like you can see in list 1 there are 4 sets, a capital X, capital Y, capital Z and capital W. And they are defined here in the paragraph as X is uh, the set consists of the elements for which Fx equal to 0. Y is f dash x equal to 0, z is gx equal to 0 and w z dash x equal to 0. fx is defined as sine of pi cos x, gx is defined as cos of 2 pi sin x uh, and uh, b2 functions defined for x greater than 0, right? And all these solutions, the uh, following sets whose elements are written in increasing order. So whatever we are getting as a solutions for capital X, capital Y, capital Z and capital W, all those solutions are written in increasing order then we have to analyze that those solutions are like uh, you can see in the list 2 long 2 I mean an AP not an AP they are forming an AP or not on their superset of these few elements are given uh, I mean PQ RST in PQ RST and U uh, we have to match the entries of list 1 with one of the one or more entries of list 2. So we will see one by one. Let us see how can we solve it. Uh, the first question associated with it was question like in question number 15 you can see which of the following is the only correct combination and in the option you can see only uh, one or two are entertained. I mean uh, in the list uh, one x and y right like in option a and c we can see that only one is uh, consider and option in option B only two is considered. So x and y are need to uh, I mean required to be solved uh, for question first question of this uh, matrix match section. And in the second question you will see that third and fourth are entertained. I mean we need to solve for z and w, right? x and y are related with the function f only x is defined as a set of values of x for which fx equal to 0 and y is defined as set of values of x for f dash x equal to 0 third and fourth z and w are related with gx we will see it later so for the first question question number 15 we need to solve fx equal to 0 and f dash x equal to 0 see how can we solve it easily uh, right for x, for capital X, the set x, we need to solve fx equal to 0. So fx equal to 0 means fx is given as sine of pi cos x equal to 0. Now sine is 0 means pi, sine theta 0 means theta is n pi, right? n belongs to integers, definitely. So from here we are getting cos x as n, no issues, but cos, cos x, uh, I mean uh, the range of cos x is from minus 1 to 1 and cos x is taking integral values, it means it can be minus 1, 0 or 1. So from here you will get uh, x as uh, the angles when cos x is minus 1 are odd multiples of pi angle at which cos x is 1 or even multiples of pi so taking union of both and when cos x is 0 it is what n pi plus pi by 2 so finally x can be 0 pi by 2 2 pi by 2 means pi 3 pi by 2 2 pi 5 pi by 2 so every multiple of pi by 2 is the solution for x here and greater than 0 because they are saying that x is greater than 0. So finally our set x is nothing but pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 2 pi and so on. 
right correct so we can see uh, going back to the match x is forming an arithmetic progression and uh, x is superset for the set just see option p in the uh, entry p of the list 2 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 4 pi 7 pi all are coming in the set x so first is matching with clearly p and q clear now see uh, for y what can be the possible way to solve for y for y uh, f dash x equal to 0 now what was fx fx was sine pi cos x so derivative of sine pi cos x by chain rule is cos pi cos x into minus pi sin x equal to 0 which means cos either cos pi x cos pi cos x is 0 or sin x is 0 which means uh, cos is 0 cos theta is 0 means theta is equal to n pi plus pi by 2 and sin x is 0 when x is equal to n pi clear from the first we are getting cos x is equal to n plus uh, half right or x is equal to n pi from the second we will carry it and cos x is equal to n plus half means cos x is some integer plus half it can be minus half ok or obviously plus half or x is n pi we will carry it ok as it is then cos x equal to minus half or half means uh, x is what can be pi by 3 can be 2 pi by 3 can be 4 pi by 3 cos x is minus half and 4 pi by 3 can be 5 pi by 3 and so on and from here n pi we get we are getting pi 2 pi dot dot so finally the set y consists of values of x for which f dash x is 0 is basically if you can see it is also forming is made of an ap pi by 3 2 pi by 3 3 pi by 3 that is pi then 4 pi by 3 then 5 pi by 3 then 6 pi by 3 that is 2 pi and so on so basically it is n pi by 3 n greater than 0 so uh, easily we can now match so for y it is y is going with q and obviously n pi by 3 in n pi by 3 definitely the elements given in uh, option t are favorable so y is going with q and t x is going with p and q now let's see what options are given x was going with p and q so 1 is with p and q so this is not correct ok 1 is going with q and t but it was going with p and q so it is also not correct right y is going with q and t q and t option b is clearly uh, 2 is going uh, 2 the correct combination is 2 q t 2 r s is not correct 2 r s is not correct 2 q t is correct r s is not correct so final answer to this question would be b right you can see ok here is the solution b is the correct option for this now coming to the second question of this matrix match you have the same paragraph same list in the second question they are asking about the third and fourth entry of the list one the third and fourth entry associated with the sets z and w 
right? So z is defined as the set of values of x where z x equals zero and w is defined as the set of values of x where z dash x equals zero. So we'll solve them one by one. G x is given as cos of cos of two pi sine x. Cos two pi sine x, right? Let's see how can we solve it. Yeah. So for z, we need to solve g x equal to zero means cos two pi sine x equal to zero. Now cos two pi sine x equal to zero means cos theta is zero means theta is n pi plus pi by two, isn't it? And from here we can write sine x is equal to n by two plus one by four, right? N is obviously uh, greater than n is some integer. Now sine x is n by two plus one by four. Sine x the range of sine x is from minus one to one. So when n is uh, minus two, it is. I mean, uh, if you further solve it now, this is like two um, n plus one by four. So sine x uh, finally we can say that can be. Uh, odd upon four, two n plus one is odd. Odd upon four, that is minus one by four, minus three by four also. Minus the, I mean the possible numbers coming in the range of sine x are minus three pi by four, minus one by four, one by four and three by four. So what are the solution for x here? Are n pi plus minus one raised power n sine inverse. Uh, one by four plus minus one by four. So plus minus we can take here, or n pi plus minus minus one raised power n sine inverse three pi by three by four. So these are the angles which are not obvious. I mean trivial angles which are uh, what I mean uh, we call as famous angles. These are not famous angles. So they are like not zero or not multiples of Pi by six, or pi by three, or pi by two. So these are not trivial or obvious angles. Neither they are forming arithmetic progression. So in that manner, we can say that the third entry of, I mean, third entry. In the list one, that was Z, is going only with R, neither with P nor with Q nor an arithmetic. Progression. So it is not an arithmetic progression, right? And uh, these all angles which are given in P, P, S, T, and U, these are also not coming in the set Z, basically. So Z matches with R only. Now coming to W, W means. The set of values of x where z dash x equal to zero, so it go uh, third was going with only r, right? Now coming to for w, we will see w is defined as z dash x equal to g x is cos two pi sine x, cos two pi sine x. Mm, g x is Cos two pi sine x, but we need to solve for w. <coughs> uh, for w, g dash x must be zero. G dash x and for g dash it is minus of sine two pi sine x by chain rule two pi cos x equal to zero. Then um, from here we can say that either sine 2 pi sine x is zero, or cos x is zero, right? So sine theta is zero means theta is n pi. Cos x is zero means cos theta is zero means theta is n pi plus pi by two. From here we are getting sine x as what? I got cancelled n by two. From here x is n pi plus pi by two. 
Now sin x is n pi by 2 means n is integer. It can be minus half when n is uh, minus 1 also. Okay. Uh, minus 1 minus half 0 half and 1 and also x is n pi plus pi by 2 from the second part and then we are getting uh, now sin x is minus uh, plus minus half 0 or plus minus 1 means we uh, and and this set of values of x is also contained in uh, in the angles which which uh, I am going to write for sin x to be plus minus half or zero or plus minus one because uh, when sin cos x is zero, sin x takes value one or minus one. So these are also included here. So we need to bother only about the first set, and I mean here sin x is plus minus half plus minus one or zero means from here we can write <coughs> x uh, to be what. Uh, for 0 it is n pi for 0 or uh, plus minus 1 it is n pi by 2 for plus minus half it is n pi plus minus pi by 6 isn't it so here if we correct all these all the angles in increasing order right so you'll get uh, the set w as I mean uh, pi by 6 then pi by 2 I think yeah right then uh, next angle in the second quadrant would be it would be 5 pi by 6 then pi when n is 2 then you will get 7 pi by 6 when n is 3 it is 3 pi by 2 and so on right so obviously this is this is, this is uh, some uh, i mean set of known angles famous angles but they're not forming not an ap not forming an ap so uh, for the fourth entry of list one the correct match or matches are we can see so 30 degree 90 degree 150 degree 180 degree these are coming yeah coming to the list uh, 1 and 2 w is going with okay pi by 2 was there 3 pi by 2 was there 4 pi 7 pi are there so w is going with w is going with p right w is going with p w is going with q or not q r w is going with I think it is pi by 6, 7 pi by 13 pi by 6. So S also. W is not going with T. W is not going with U. I mean pi by 3, 2 pi by 3, pi R. These all are not the subset of W. Right. So it is going with S but. Okay. So finally the correct match for fourth uh, entry of list 1. PRS 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 so for third entry it was R only for fourth PRS now coming to R and PRS coming to the question for third they have given they should give only R but they are not given only R, R U so this is not correct P Q are obviously not correct for PRS is correct, right? We just saw it. Both QD is not correct. So correct option for this uh, question number 16 is option B. The complete solution is given here. You can see and answer B is correct. Uh, yeah, whatever I have explained is also is uh, given in type form. You can go through it. So I hope you understood the solution. The entire matrix match. Thank you and stay tuned for the next question.